Thank you for watching. A couple of months ago, my wife wanted to buy a big screen TV set, so we looked for an entertainment stand that would fit in the corner. Ranged from anywhere from $600 to $1,000, so I decided to build one myself. I used shaker style for the exterior walls just to give it character. Use three quarter inch plywood for the base on the bottom and then use three quarter inch one by fours from Claymont from Home Depot for the top. What I did is on the bottom, I dadoed a three quarter inch slot so it'd be easier for them to connect to the bottom plate. Then I used a center cove to carry both the stereo equipment and other things such as storage and built those then connecting them to the exterior wall to give more strength. After that, then I built two pockets for both the speakers on left and right, and then two pockets below that for storage. Next, I built the tabletop using 1x4s from Claymont from Home Depot. I then doweled them together so that they would connect. At the end of the point, I put a hole in there so that you could put all the cords between the television set and other devices so you would not see any cords. That was the main objective, is to first of all not see any cords, nails, screws, or anything like that. Next, I put a trim piece because I did make a little error there, and the nice thing is nobody knows. There is the hole where all the cords come in and out. There's also an electrical hole in the bottom to connect to the outlets outside. After that, I stained it and then put a, four coats of polyurethane on it, in the front, I used two 1x4s on each side to make it look smaller as far as the hole and storage where the speakers go. As you can tell there, there's the first coat of poly, and it turned out really nice. One thing I did realize about stain, make sure you shake it really well. Here's the doors that I put on front. I used Euro hinges. Quite interesting, never have done that before, but after reading the instructions and a couple YouTube videos, it didn't take too long to do them. After the doors were finished, then I worked on the drawer on the bottom that could be pulled out for both DVDs and other items. As you can tell, it looked kind of generic, so I put a shaker style face on it so it would match up with the two doors on the left and right. Also up on the top, I built a little shelf that's adjustable, so for both the stereo and for other items such as the DVD player. After it was finished, put it in the corner, and now it works very, very well. Saved a lot of money by doing it myself.